What is going on everybody, it's Mr. HD here, we are here in Forza Motorsport. Wow, how many times am I going to say that before I get it right? Forza Horizon 2, and we are doing Build It, Drift It, Kill It, um, I hope you're having a good Friday, but today the song I chose was Stay by Part Native featuring Sarah Lentz, uh, again if you guys want the details to that song, you can click in the description below, um, you can get it from Argo Fox Creative Commons, I have a bunch of free music there that you can use in your Twitch streams, your music videos, not music videos, I can't talk today. Your Twitch streams, your YouTube videos, especially if you're partnered like myself, it's very hard to find good uh, copyright-free music. So yeah, go check them out. Um, today I am using the FD RX-7 for the three of you that didn't know what this car was. Um, wonderful, wonderful car. Uh, I opted to stick with the... I think it comes with a Twin Turbo 2 rotor uh, for two reasons, because there are two other options. There's a V8, uh, which would have made this car probably a 10 out of 10 in my book, but um, just I V8 swap I V8 swap too many things uh, in my opinion. So sometimes I just need to like step back and just 
appreciate the motor that comes with the car. Um, there's that, and I had one in Forza 5, and I just didn't feel like making the same car twice because it's the same color, uh, the same roughly the same color, color scheme. Um, there's a four rotor which has about 700 horsepower when you, once you de-restrict it. Just really wasn't in the mood. I just don't like the sound of that engine all the time. Uh, that and I like it in my NC Miata and I feel like that's the only car I wanted in right now. Anyway, uh, this car got big old tires on the back, uh, like 295s, could have had 305s, but 295s were fine. Um, it's got the rally suspension on it, really doesn't affect it at all because it weighs nothing, it weighs 2200 pounds, uh, which I, ballpark again, 550 horsepower ballpark. Um, this car is fantastic, I mean, if you guys know how to drive a rotary, um, which means there's no torque, none, zero, uh, below like, I want to say like 5,000 RPM is right where it starts to bog, especially with this engine, uh, this setup, uh, has some turbo work and some rotary work, uh, rotor work done to it. Usually, uh, when you, you know, upgrade your turbos, upgrade your camshaft slash rotors, it just does not do wonder, it gives you horsepower, but your horsepower torque numbers get a little skewed, um, but if you know how to drive it. Uh, if you're running clutch, you're fine. If you're running no clutch, it might take some some clever gear work. But uh, if you guys know how to drive a rotary, drive this car. It's literally like the best or one of the best cars in the game. Uh, the only reason I wouldn't recommend it to beginners is because of that engine. Uh, other than that, this thing's fantastic. Um, it transitions quick because it doesn't weigh much. You can get wide tires on it, so it's smooth, it's stable, it's fast because of that combination. Um, you know, um, also thanks to, I forget the guy's name, uh, Mancho Poncho or something like that for showing me this section uh, in the industrial area of Montebello or Montanello or something like that. I can't, I'm doing terrible today. But um, yeah, I didn't see this, I didn't, I didn't, I haven't looked for sections and stuff. Um, but this car is super smooth. I literally have like no complaints about it other than the fact that it's got a rotary engine, but it can't help it. Um, you know, just learn how to drive it. Uh, know, you have to learn where your specific build, if you choose not to use this one, your build uh, where your power comes in and just kind of keep it above the RPM or uh, in the RPM rev range. Wow, I sound like a new. Keep it in the rev range uh, of where your power band is and you'll be fine. Like There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, you can see I do uh, longer corners here, not a problem. Uh, for the smaller corner or the smaller right hand complex here, I just switch down the second really quickly. Make sure you give it a little clutch kick and you're fine. Um, like there's, I can't think of anything off the top of my head wrong to say about this car. You know, it, it is an RX-7, it is an FD. Um, not sure if I already said this, I, this is my second take, but ever since Forza 2, these cars have been like god tier. And happy to report that nothing's changed. Uh, it's still fun to drive because it's light, it's chockable. Um, you know, you can pull... This car usually, like when I'm driving, I usually have like a feeling in my hands where like, okay, I'm getting close to spinning out, I'm getting close to, to wrecking, I can't pull any more angle. This car is like, nah, no, nah, you got lots of room, don't worry about it. I tried a cockpit here for the first time in forever and I, I suck. <laughs> but anyways guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please, please leave it in the description below and I will be sure to get you to get. I can't talk at all not even a little bit um thanks very much guys uh leave a like if you like the video and i'll see you later take care hey thank you so much for watching if you liked the video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos go ahead and click that subscribe button I also have a Facebook and a Twitter. For those links, be sure to check out the description box below.